What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery VR on the channel. And today is officially the day, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to do this, and I am super excited to announce that this is the video of us reviewing the brand new U12 update. Honestly, I shouldn't be saying brand new update considering the fact that I am very late to covering this update, but it was for good reason. There was still a lot of mods that I want to cover on U11, and even with this brand new update, I'm probably still going to be hopping in between both U11 and U12 until those like mods actually get updated to this newest version. But for the most part, I just want to say right off the beginning, these swords feel so much lighter, and I don't know if they just, like, reworked the, uh, the Steam VR binding, or not bindings, but, uh, the Steam VR controllers for the index, because there's just something that feels so much more solid about the short sword, and I can't put my finger on it. Like, maybe they just reworked the physics, like, all together for this weapon, but it feels light. Like, I feel like I have so much more control on it, and I don't know if maybe they just changed the pitch offsets for the controllers or something, but something definitely feels different rocking the index here on the new version. If you guys do end up enjoying this video and like to see more content made on Blade and Sorcery, then be sure to smash that mother fracking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. And also, there is something that I cannot wait to try in this version of Blade and Sorcery. And what that is, is they actually added breakable items within the game. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna hop into just another match of Arena and I wanna test this bad boy out. And it looks like they actually changed the locations on the map. They got, like, some new art here. I like it, dude. I'm digging it. I'm liking the new update. I'm still waiting for Crystal Hunt, though. Like, that's got to be the number one that I'm, like, super excited about is seeing Crystal Hunt. The instant that that drops, I'm going to be covering so much Blade and Sorcery gameplay. Like, you guys don't even know. Another thing to mention, too, about this update is they added the short sword to be holstered on the hip, which is completely new. I do not remember this being in U11 where you were able to put these on your hip. I only remember, like, daggers. I remember seeing like some wrist blades but for the most part that's about it that's about all that I remember being able to put on my hip for this but also something I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is they reworked the book system there used to be a book that would open up that would have all of your settings in here but now they changed it to whatever this is I assume it's like a scroll that you, you pulled open or something but I, I don't know how I feel about it I, I like the original book to be completely honest and I'm gonna guess this is totally, like, a random thing thrown out there, but I feel like this is probably for optimization for the Quest 2. I might be tripping, I might just be speaking out of my mouth here, but it kind of seems that way, because, like, the book was a lot cooler, I thought. Like, it made me feel like a mage every time I opened that bad boy up. Alright, so without further ado, let's go and see how this actually feels. I want to just go and do some 1v1s and just see how the combat actually feels in the game. Oh, you just stabbed me in the back! What were you thinking? Oh, we got easy dismemberment now. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Yes! This is the best Blade and Sorcery update. I can now do whatever. Oh my gosh, we got a freaking arrow over here. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh man, I love the fact that now, like within cheats, you can turn on easy dismemberment. So you could just easily slay these guys. Like, dismemberments any day, baby. That is awesome. And it feels so good to have that. For, uh, for the index, because I feel like for some reason in the past updates, especially with, oh my gosh, especially with the index, one of the problems that I noticed especially was like there was something to do with the hits that made it really difficult to dismember enemies. Like, I don't know if any of you guys ever had that issue, but one thing I noticed about the index is the fact that it's a lot harder to get dismemberments, at least in like the older versions of Blade and Sorcery. Like, definitely not in this one because I have easy dismemberment on, but like... I gotta say, in the original, like, I would say, like, U9, U10, and U11, it was incredibly difficult to land dismembers, even when you were accurate using the index. I don't know if it's just something that went wrong with, like, the controllers with the game, but it was definitely something I noticed while playing. Okay, you need to not do this, my friend. <laughs> there goes your leg, there goes your other leg, and your head, and your arm, and then your other arm. Oh my god, dude. You know what we need to get back in this version? We need to get the freaking mind control mod back because then we could bring that man back to life and seeing all the pieces come back together like that would be so freaking funny on here man i do notice so it feels like they kind of hug you again 
You know, like, in U11, I want to say, I feel like they kind of fixed. Oh, did you just try to shoot a fireball at me? What are you thinking, my friend? What are you thinking? Why are you chucking fireballs at me? How dare you? Oh, wait a minute. But yeah, in the older versions of Blade and Sorcery, there was something that happened in, like, I want to say U9 and U8. Something I really noticed is enemies like to hug you. Like, they, they get really, really close, and it makes it, like, hard to have, like, cinematic fights. Or even just have, like, good parries. And it feels like, I don't know if they did it in this update, but it feels like they're kind of back to hugging again compared to U11. Like, U11, they used to kind of keep their distance. And now it kind of just feels like they walk up on you, and you have to, like, take steps back as you're, uh, as you're fighting. Which, I don't know if it's intended to be that way, but it just feels like the brains are a little bit weird again. But, that might just be my opinion. Maybe I just haven't played Blade and Sorcery in a while. But, that's just how I kind of feel about the situation. Oh my god. Okay, easy dismemberment is no joke. It is like literally the easiest dismemberment. Okay, I want to have a good sword fight here. Let's bring it on. Oh, dude, she actually almost got that slash. Bring it on again. Do it again. Oh, she actually got it. Come on, follow up. Oh, that is so solid though. Like here, I feel like with this AI, she's actually doing a really good job. Like this, the brains for this one feel really solid. Okay, so maybe it was just like some of those enemies that we were reversing that we were having issues with that, but that, that fight felt good. That was awesome. <laughs> can I still grab? Oh, I can. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I gotta test the breakables. What am I doing with my life? This is what I came to U12 for, baby. All right, bring... Oh, well, now you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, man, can you grab the other pieces with telekinesis? Or can you only grab it when it's... Oh, dude, I don't think you'll be able to grab the other little pieces, can you? Unless, maybe... <gasps> dude, you totally can! I now have a plank. Oh, yo, that is a whole new whole new way to play blade and sorcery and the the bottom of the barrel or i guess this could be the top too but it becomes a shield after you break it <laughs> that is sick holy crap you gotta be kidding all right let's do this thing i now have a shield what are you gonna do oh my gosh she's really going in okay that is the beauty of breakables and i just noticed as well apparently uh that breaks on the first time that you actually use the uh Use the barrel shield, so that thing does not do good work. <laughs> we actually can still use it? Can he break this? I want to see if he can actually, like, slice it. Oh, what are you- you don't even have a sword on you, bro! <laughs> I'm gonna dismember you with this. <laughs> Let's see, can we block the arrow this way? Do it. Oh, we actually blocked it, it just didn't stick in. Alright, bring it on! I got the breakable shield! Oh, baby, we got the big boy box. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, that's gonna be a whole new way to fight. I love this because you could just be in the middle. Oh, well, we'll just put you out of your misery for now. All right, you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to die, just for now. But I'm sitting here thinking about like the cinematic battles you can have here. So let's say, for instance, you're like in the middle of a sword fight and you're getting like cornered by someone. So you're sitting here fighting this person. You grab this barrel, boom. Now you can break that over them in the middle of a fight like that, dude. Like that. It's just so cool to me. I love it! Oh, This version feels so good! I can see why uh, Drifter, huge shout out to that man, he's been killing it with his Blade and Sorcery content. But I can see why he's been like super adamant on me coming and playing this version, because it feels good. Alright, well, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! I'm glad that hasn't changed. She's going for more attacks even though that she's dead. All right. Well, we're not finished here. We are not finished. Come here, brother. You're mine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. We can catch it. We can catch it. We can catch it. No. Oh, dude. We're clutch. We are clutching it up. Okay, we got to block this arrow. Try. Come on. Nice. Okay, now let's bring it back. We actually got the arrow stuck in the, uh, the block here. Now, I just want to go and... No, I wanted to launch at you. Well, I guess we grabbed the arrow. I did not mean to do that. Do we just... How do we get his arm off? 
<laughs> using an arrow. So my only question is, how far is Breakables gonna take this game, dude? Because now that I think of it, I bet there's gonna be a way that people can make breakable mods for objects to use within the game. Like, can you imagine that? That is gonna be so legit. I am so ready for that. Like, that's gonna be amazing. All right, bring it on. Do we got another arrow person? Can I block the arrow this way? Bring it on. Oh, <laughs> let's go! Yes! And you're dead now. Look what you've done. You did this to yourself. And now you're dead. Do you want a head? <laughs> oh, dude, I freaking love this game. This is amazing. Okay, well, off you go then. You know, honestly, this game totally makes me feel like I'm probably just going to become a maniac after playing it. But seriously, there is nothing that beats blade and sorcery combat it's just so fun like it might not be the most realistic in the game like speak of the devil this man literally just ran over the npc and tripped to his and tripped straight into the ground but for the most part it is some of the most like fun medieval combat i've played in vr games bro it just never gets old and we're only in the sandbox of this game right now like we haven't even got to the fact of a possible campaign or any other things like that i mean like the dungeons are great and all but I, I feel like there's just, there's something missing. And I feel like Crystal Hunt is going to be the big one that helps us on that, man. Like, I am so ready for Crystal Hunt. Oh, I wanted to get the slash. How dare you? Your hand's blocking it. No! There goes your leg. And also, you know what? Maybe while we're at it, we should probably go and, uh, let's get rid of that too. Okay, let's, uh, you might want to keep your distance. Yeah, I would probably walk away now. <laughs> there goes your wrist. There goes your arm. There goes your head! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, looks, that looks awful! <laughs> oh, I wanted to actually like keep keep that for a second, but I guess not. Oh, there we go! We got the deflection, baby! Oh, what are you what are you doing here, my man? You did bring me back a sword though. Is that an antique? Oh, he had double antiques. I was hoping he had a short a short sword. Oh, here we go. Now we can actually do some good sword fighting. Anytime I see, like, the rapiers come into the fights, like, they got a little bit more reach, and they don't decide to, like, actually rush you as much. So you can really test the parrying that's within the game. You know? Like, this is just cool. I freaking love... Like, this type of sword fighting, if they played like this, aggressive all the time... Oh, my God. This would be so sick. Okay, I need to switch my hand so I can grab that rock. Come on. Oh, distractor. No! No! God, that is so satisfying. It's just so fun. Like, when you can actually predict the way the swords are going to move, it's just fun, man. Like, ah, oh, I've been waiting way too long on this update. No joke about it. Come on. It feels so solid. Oh, I feel like I'm back at my roots. This is amazing. Oh. Blade and sorcery, how I've missed you. And what are you doing? Why, why are you trying to shoot fireballs at me? That is not cool. Okay, now you just got one deflected right back at you, and you're gonna be dying right here, right now. Goodbye, sir. But you've messed up this time. All right, off you go. <laughs> and what are you doing? Are we gonna have a good fight here, or are you just gonna come and give me a hug again? That's the one thing, is I feel like, I feel like any of you guys using antique swords or short swords or... Oh, perfect. Looks like you lost your footing there. Okay, I need you to be right here. Just be... Be a good test subject for me, okay? I just need I just need to go and put this box right over your head. Come on, just just stay right there. You're okay. You're totally fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. Just get in the box. There we go. <laughs> Does that mean I could also like I wanna break it this way? <laughs> oh breakables are a mi wait! Did she just Oh no. Oh no 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 no, sir. You better watch where you're walking, sir, or she gets it. Never mind. She was going to get it anyway. Oh, I wanted to get the freaking head shot there. That would have been so sick. On guard. Bring it on, sir. Let's do this thing. Come on. Ooh, there we go. That's a good hit. Good parries. Good parries. Ooh. Oh, no, I missed him. Oh, you messed up now. You messed up really bad now, sir. Isn't it going to suck when you're missing a leg? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, my guy? And you got an arrow? Let's see if we can block this. I feel like we should have a better chance to block it this way. Oh, yes! In real time! Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Oh, where did my sword go? Oh, I think I might have broke my hand. I think my... Oh, no, my hand! Oh, no! Oh, it's back. 
Hello. Good to see ya. So far, I gotta say, man, U12 is feeling beautiful. I am loving the feel of it. And it feels really optimized. I don't know if they did any more optimization, or maybe I just haven't played Blade and Sorcery in a while, but it feels good. Even, like, with the breakables, like, this feels really freaking nice. Oh, snap. Isn't that too bad? Now I got your fireball. What are you gonna do about this, sir? This is... This is unfortunate. And now you're dead. What are you gonna do about it? Isn't that just a shame? I love the fact you can telekinesis fireballs, bro. That is probably the coolest feeling that you can have with this. Bring it on. Let's do another one. You want another one? We can start juggling them. Let's do it. Oh, no. I got two of them. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh, and you're dead. Oh, wait. No, what? You actually survived that. That is just too bad, because now you're gonna have a proper death. Oh, yes. Be Unimus, dude. Be freaking Unimus. Okay, let me just go and throw on some lightning because it has been a while since we went and ran with the Tesla Beam. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I need to find that staff. Oh, my God. Yes. Because I have not used this in so long. I think this is probably when the new update went live is the last time I used this staff. So you are going down. Bring it on. Ugh. And then, do I actually have cast with this too? I can't remember if it does. I feel like... Oh, it does. It has the little slashy poos. Oh, man. This is just Dismember City. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to draw a heart. Because I love you so much. And now you're Ted. What a shame. Does this also do, like, lightning slashes? Because... Bro, this would have been awesome for, like, blades to use for, like, anime weapons. Like, I can't imagine the slashes this way. Like, you could send lightning slashes. Oh, bro, that would have been so sick. I wonder if it actually works, like, at distances, though. I haven't tested that. Oh, it totally does! So if they walk into the line, it works. Dude, you know what? Now that I think about it when I watch this, it reminds me of, like, Bercoli's blade. If you've ever watched Sword Art Online... It reminds me of, like, his time-cutting blade where he can cut into the future. And, like, there's a little blur line that you can see, like, where he sliced. And then you can find it that way. And the way that the lightning works is, like, the prime example of how Bercoli's blade would actually work, man. Like, that is so cool. Let's see. Can I send this over your way? How far can I go? What's my distance? Okay, I know we can do this. Oh, come on. I want to see how far we can get it. No! There we go! Okay, that was a good slash, dude. I... I'm freaking loving it, dude. That is so awesome. I freaking love the lightning staff. Like, this is just too cool, man. The lightning staff is just way too cool, bro. Huh. Look at that. I literally feel like I'm summoning, like, Thor's hammer. Ha-ha. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have not messed around a lot with the gravity staff here. Okay, you are going to die. Smash. 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 Oh, oh wait, no. I need my freaking gravity push. Yeah. All right, dude, that is awesome. So my opinions about update U12 so far, I'm liking it. I am digging the absolute crap out of this update. And I think with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on some more Blade and Sorcery VR, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Laters. I got some shells for you, boy. Oh, it's in his eye. Oh, I fixed it. I would have no. died. We're right no, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon! Oh, get in! Yeah. Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences. <laughs>